Hello there, people of the internet who are watching this, and of course, people who aren't watching this, and of course, if you aren't watching this, but you're somehow hearing my voice, how on earth are you doing that, you talented, talented people? You probably recognise what this is, uh, just from the general shape and what you can see on the screen there. It is a satellite navigation device. You know, those GPS things that nowadays everybody seems to have on their phones, uh, and which can tell you where you are, where you want to go, how to get there, and so on and so forth, and more than likely than not, will get you completely lost if you don't follow the instructions properly. Uh, this isn't actually a sat navigation device at all, it's called a sat nag. So called because it's just a hologram that changes its desperation way, mooning road, whiny lane, backseat driver, all those little descriptions that perfectly tell how you feel about using this sort of device. As you can see, we're currently on Ear Ake Avenue. Um, I'll just see if I can angle that a bit better. Of course, we are using a hologram here, which means it's going to change all the time. But, on the other hand... At the next turning, I'm going to grab the sides of my seat violently and make a face from a horror film. When a car in a side road lurches forward an inch. Yes, it's one of those devices. It's one of these cheap novelty things that just has a little speaker on the back. Uh, no way that you can immediately see where the batteries are. Uh, mm, yes, cheap plastic, cheap everything. <laughs> and of course, it's a little on the fun side, I suppose. At the next junction, I will ask you to wind the window back up because I'm freezing. And I've just had my hair done. I don't know if there's a male version of it, but that sounds typically like a woman. The reason it sounds so bad... In 300 metres, I'm going to ring Mum for a chat while you're on your hands free because... I don't know, it just reminded me. Hmm. Yep. Very annoying. Of course, if you're wondering why it's sounding like that, it's simply because I've had this for a few years, forgot about it all together, uh, and, well, the batteries must be dying. If you don't slow down and start driving within the speed limit, I'm going to ring the police myself. <sighs> yes, yes, there are some people who would actually do that when they're the passenger in a car. That feel you're driving too fast when you're actually only doing the speed limit, but... Hey, never mind. So yeah, I forgot all about this. Uh, came across it by chance when I was having a bit of a clear out. And I realised that I have absolutely no idea where the batteries are. Thankfully, I have a screwdriver and there's little screws all over the place here. So let's just see. Oh, the entertainment value I'm giving you people by making you watch me unscrew this cheap plastic box to see if I can get to the batteries. I'm going to apologise for losing the car keys again, but point out that it's only made us half an hour late, so I don't know what your problem is. Is it me or did that actually sound worse? So occasionally I might actually end up pressing the button by accident, so whoop. Don't want to lose the screws, because you never know, they might actually come in handy. I am kind of wondering what kind of battery it will have. I'm willing to bet it's going to be those cheap little ones that you get in the back of watches. You know, the tiny little circular ones that uh, are a bugger to get in and out. Now, how do you actually... Hmm. Doesn't seem to actually be a way to easily get into this. I might need something else to actually allow me to uh, get in here. Just a second. Aha, different screwdriver this time, a flathead. Let's see, maybe if I... At the junction, oh. I'm going to gloat over the fact that even though you're trying to ignore me, I can tell from your face that you know I'm right. Bloody hell. Well, let's just see, that goes over... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, the bits fall out if you don't... Uh... Hmm. If you're not careful as to how you keep them, so that goes in like that. That presumably goes in like that, so possibly not. Oh dear, I appear to have broken it. Whatever shall I do? Well, first of all, I'll see if I can figure out which port you actually press. But these are obviously the batteries that... Uh, there's three of them. And I don't think they're going to be easily uh, taken out. You've got to 
pull those bits out there and then push them outwards and then replace them. But I still don't see where you actually... In ah, there we are. Pull over. So I can get out, slam the door and walk away. I will then wait for you to come over yeah, and that's apologize. Still not going. You have no idea what it is you've done. Let's give that another try. Yeah, so it has to go on like that. 100 meters. I'm going to ask you to move over to the slow lane so I can fix my makeup. Well, there you go. That's uh, entertainment value, I suppose. If by entertainment value you are easily entertained by cheap pieces of plastic that have got the value of absolutely nothing. Um, hmm. Zero point twenty-five watts, sixteen horseshoes, and S and X. Yep, that's basically the no other discernibly useful information whatsoever. At the next junction, I'm going to explain that it's not what you said, but the way you said it that annoyed me. Yeah, that just sounds like women in general, doesn't it, boys? Am I right, fellas? Am I right? Am I right? No, of course I'm not right, because I'm a man saying something slightly negative about a woman. Let's see what else has she got to say here. In 50 metres, if you fart again, I'm going to get out of this car and catch a bus. That sounds like incentive to keep farting. Shall we give it one more try and then I think I'll uh, quite happily end the video. In a moment, I'm going to leave across you and tell the policeman that you're an idiot and you're very sorry for driving so fast, officer. Yes, I think it's best to actually end it there, don't you? There's really nothing else that can be said. What can be said has been said, unless of course you can think of something else, in which case, comment section, use it, please. Don't forget to rate, like and subscribe and all of that usual jizz jazz. Jizz jazz? Well, who knows? Maybe that's a new word. Maybe it's something I've just made up. Maybe it's something I've heard somewhere else and it's just came to the back of my head right now. Oh, who knows? 75 metres after leaving the garage, I'm going to explain that it's not my fault if I can never remember which side the petrol cap is on. Uh, there's actually a clue I can give you there. If you look at the uh, dashboard on your car and look at the way that uh, the petrol pump is actually facing, whichever side the handle is on, that is the side your fuel cap is on. Mmm. I, I can be educational. Doodle pip.